It's not about the situation that takes place. It's how you act about it. I have just been in the steam room and in the sauna after the gym. And then I get told I gotta be escorted out and we gotta exit the building. And we stay there for a further hour and 45 minutes, just near a pool, all in our swim clothes, waiting to get let go. And the reality of this is, it's how you handle the situation. And this was that in full effect. I handled the situation fairly good because I got on with a few people there and we were just laughing about it, all this. Of course, we were a little bit agitated. You're bound to be. You want to go home and you got things planned, you know? But overall, I handled it in a positive way and we were all literally saying, whether you react angry or whether you react happy or whether you, however you react, the situation's already happened. Therefore, you need to choose how you react towards that, you know? You need to choose how you react towards that situation. It's not, it's not necessarily a situation that happened because that's already happened. So if you get agitated and angry now and you take it out on people and all that and make it worse, is it really going to change things or is it going to make it more worse? Is it going to take them longer to search all your bags for the fire brigade to search all your bags? Or is it going to make it more stressful for you and ultimately take away from you? It's important to ask yourself, you know? It's important to ask yourself. And you can apply this in er any area of your life. If something bad happens to you, if something happens to you, it's not about the situation itself. The situation it itself is in the past. But how are you going to react to that now? How are you going to react to that? Are you going to react all agitated, all upset, all angry? Or are you going to react with actual control over your emotions? Or actual control of how you react, which is the control you have? You may not have overall control of the situation like I didn't. There's nothing else I could do, is there? Like, I couldn't search it myself and be at the fire brigade, you know? But overall, it's how you act. It's how you act. And that's the message in the video, is how you act. Bad situations are bound to happen to you. And bad situations happen when you least expect it as well. And situations you can't control. But it's ultimately how you react. And this was a prime example of that. This is a prime example of how you react when something goes wrong. It's not necessarily the, the thing that goes wrong. It's how you react about the thing. It's not necessarily what happens. It's what you do after. The thing has already happened. I can't escape the building because literally we're not allowed out because of the fire, you know? And I can't grab my stuff because of the fire. Therefore, it puts me back my day around two hours or whatever. But overall, we had a good time. We laughed. We had fun together, all of us. We had a, we had some amazing laughs as well. So overall, was it really negative? Was it really negative? Overall, I wanted to do different things. Of course, I wanted to get ready and all that. I go out a bit later with someone. But in general, was it overall bad? Because I can still do that now. I can still do that now. I may be a little bit later, but I can still do that now. And it's important for us to view it like this, you know? It's not a situation that happens to you. It's not what literally happens to you. Because that is in the past now. Whatever's happened is in the past. How you react and what you do now with yourself, with your energy, is what matters. And you can easily take things out on people, you can easily take things out, but overall it's not, that's not gonna help you. It's how you react now, that's what's gonna help you. It's how you choose to put your energy in, send you. Are you gonna waste your energy on getting angry at people, getting angry at lifeguards and weird shit? Or are you gonna spend your energy on focusing your energy, making people laugh, spreading kindness, spreading happiness? Because overall, there ain't much you can do in the situation anyway. So what are you going to do? You're going to take it out on people, make people's days worse, whose job it is there? Or are you going to actually take it and put it in a positive light to an extent? And that's what we did today. And it's good to see. It's good to see. And overall, that's nice to see in people as well, you know? Overall, it was a terrible thing that happened. Don't get me wrong. I don't know. I don't actually know the ins and outs. They won't tell us what happened. The fire brigade, everything came, so I guess it was something serious. And we left for an hour 45, so it was very something serious. But overall, it's how you react to the situation. Because I couldn't do anything more than I did. I couldn't have acted in a better way than I did, I didn't think, overall. Of course, there was bits where I wanted to act angry or wanted to get annoyed. Or, why is this? Why is this? But overall, what's that going to do? What's that going to do? You can ask questions, but don't take it out on people and all that. It's not going to help you. And that's the reality in this video, and that's the message in this video. When a situation happens to you, especially ones you can't control, react accordingly. React accordingly and try to actually think of how you're reacting. Don't just take it out. Don't just waste your energy because after that, you're going to feel fatigued. You're going to feel angry. You're going to feel upset. You're going to feel all 
agitated and therefore you're not going to help yourself at all whereas if you put it into something even if it's people speaking to the people around making them have a good time a better time if it's working out later being present when you're later helping people later doing something for yourself later and keeping that energy because if you expend that on something there's going to be a reaction if you're angry to people you can have a reaction you can have another reaction back overall to you it's important how you act you know it's important how you act and that's the message in this video it's not what happens to you it's how you react and that's overall the message things will always happen to you negative things that you can't control mad things that you can't control and if you can't control it you're best off not getting that angry at it you know and that's the reality of it and that's the sad truth of life because that could happen with your family members or whatever or people you're close to they can get diseases and all that and you know and it can go for all different things say it's raining you can't control that but if you get angry at it what are you gonna do it can go through on all different scales but that's the message in this video and that's what i've overall learned today as well which is very nice to actually learn and to put into practice instead of just saying it you know so i hope you all got some value in this video there's gonna be more content coming soon thank you for all the love recently and yeah like comment and subscribe thanks